In this video, we'll tell you everything you need to know how to get started with Robbie Wallet's browser extension wallet. Robbie Wallet is a non-custodial cryptocurrency wallet developed by DeFi portfolio tracker DeBank, available as a Chrome extension and desktop wallet. A mobile wallet app is also being developed at the moment. Robbie Wallet supports a plethora of cryptocurrencies like Bitcoin, Ethereum, USDT, and much more. The wallet also supports NFTs as users can view share and transfer their NFTs from the wallet itself. If you find yourself being tired of switching networks when using dApps across multiple blockchains, well then Rabi has you covered. The wallet has integrated with 95 EVM chains and ensures a smooth multi-chain experience by automatically switching networks based on the site that you currently are on. Most importantly, Rabi is focused on Web3 security. As interacting with smart contracts always carry some risk, Rabi has some security features to keep you safe, so make sure to stay tuned till the end to learn more about that. First, go to rabi.io and then download the extension. Once you've downloaded the extension, then open it in your browser, click on next, and then hit get started. So then you'll be prompted to add a wallet address. And from here, you can choose to create a new seed phrase for a brand new wallet or import a pre-existing seed phrase or private key or even a MetaMask account. So you can also connect your pre-existing hardware and mobile wallets for this step. Now, after you've selected a method to set up your Ravi wallet, set up a strong password to secure your wallet. If you've chosen to create a new seed phrase, you'll get to a page with some basic but important information on securing it. So once you've securely backed up the seed phrase, click on the blue button to proceed and Rabi will prompt you to add up to 50 wallet addresses to the wallet. Now for most people, just selecting two to three addresses is enough for most use cases. Feel free to include more addresses to your wallet as you see fit, but note that you can always manage addresses in the wallet settings later on. The steps to import your MetaMask account or a seed phrase from any other existing wallet are essentially the same. With MetaMask as an example, head over to settings and click on security and privacy. Then click on reveal secret recovery phrase and you will find your seed phrase to your wallet. To import your entire wallet with all its addresses, select the option to import a seed phrase on Rabi wallet and enter the seed phrase into the fields Rabi provided. After hitting confirm, select the wallet addresses that you would like to add to Rabi wallet. To be clear, all your accounts from your previous wallet will be imported automatically when you import via your seed phrase, but this step allows you to pick which are made visible. To import just a specific wallet address, select the address or account to be imported first and head over to the settings tab. Scroll down to find the option to reveal your private key for a single address. Once you've copied the private key, simply enter the private key into the field Rabi provided and you're done. Now, for security purposes, make sure to copy something else to clear your seed phrase or private key from your clipboard and ensure that clipboard history is not turned on. If you would like to connect a hardware wallet such as Trezor or Ledger to Rabi, you'll be prompted to do so through their respective applications. Follow the on-screen instructions to connect your hardware wallet to Rabi. Connecting Rabi to your existing mobile wallet app is made easy through Wallet Connect. Now we're using MetaMask Mobile as an example. So on the app, click on the scan icon on the top right corner. Simply scan the QR code provided by the browser extension and then confirm the wallet connection on the mobile app. Set a name for your wallet address, click done and you're all set. Now to start using Rabi Wallet, you will want to deposit some funds first. Click on receive and select the network that your funds are on. And then you can either copy the wallet address or simply scan the QR code if you're sending from the mobile app of another wallet or your sex account. Now remember to double check the wallet address and confirm the selected network before sending any funds. Any funds transferred will be reflected in your wallet balance as soon as the blockchain confirms the transaction. 
After funding your wallet, you can now use Rabi Wallet to access your favorite dApps. As Rabi Wallet's mission is to make your Web3 interactions safer, let's go over in more detail about its security features. It is generally a good practice to review smart contract approvals to minimize the risk of exploits and unauthorized transactions. Rabi Wallet makes it easy for you to manage approvals. Simply click on approvals and then you can easily review and revoke any unused or unfamiliar approvals. Besides that, Ravi Wallet helps you monitor approvals and notifies you about potential smart contract risks or exploits, so you can revoke any approvals that put your wallet at risk. You can also enable a white list to restrict transfers to a selected list of trusted addresses. Ravi will also warn you about any phishing websites that you might stumble upon, letting you know well beforehand that you are about to visit Visit a dangerous website that could put your funds at risk. Users can also take advantage of Ravi's transaction simulation and pre-sign check feature to examine the details on their transaction before signing them. To round things up, Rabi Wallet could be a good choice if you frequently engage with dApps or interact with smart contracts across many blockchains as Rabi's security features make it easier to stay safe. Now, if you'd like to explore other options, check out our list on the top seven wallets besides MetaMask right here.